I do not encourage or condone the use of tobacco or cannabis products, and if you're under the age of 18, you can go ahead and get out of here right now. This is my 1996 Ford Aerostar, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of a car tour, you know what I'm saying? I bought this car about two months ago, and uh, I gotta be completely honest with y'all, I kind of love-hate it kind of thing. I've had a very much love-hate relationship with this car, but really, no complaints on my personal behalf, you know what I'm saying? No complaints on my personal behalf. This is a very old car. It's older than me, as you guys can tell. And I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys the price. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my cigarette lit up. You know what I'm saying? Because I got to smoke a cigarette when I'm talking about my car. You know what I'm saying? And today I'm going to be smoking a little bit of a basic red 100. You know what I'm saying? Because this is probably going to be a little bit of a longer video. But yeah, I think without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the price that I paid for this uh, heap of junk, if I do say so myself. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the cigarette lit. I paid. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. Five hundred dollars for this car. That's right. I paid five hundred dollars for this car, and there are no complaints on my personal behalf. This is a very mint example of a Ford Aerostar, but that doesn't mean it's nice. The Ford Aerostar from factory, in my personal opinion, was just horrible, and uh, I don't like it. But it's five hundred dollars, kind of thing, and no complaints on my personal behalf. But I think without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get the cigarette lit up, and uh, yeah. Let's get it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get this cigarette lit up, and then I'm going to start talking a little bit more about my car. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. i got to get my lighter out. You know what I'm saying? i got to get my lighter out. Oh, man. This is a, this, this video is janky already. I haven't done a court car tour in like a year. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it, y'all. I cannot believe this. I only lit half a cigarette. There we go, there we go, much better now. But overall, I have spent about, I would have to say, $2,000 on this car so far. I bought it for $500 as said, and basically right now I'm just gonna be going a little bit over how much I've cost, how much I've spent in this car, how much it's uh, cost me so far, you know what I'm saying, and uh, what the reliability is like. It has broken so far three times. It has broken three times so far, which is very much a disappointment, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. But, nothing I can do about that. It is a 25-year-old car, after all. I gotta be completely honest with y'all. And I was not planning on making this video today. I just remembered that. I was not planning on making this video today. But hey, sporadic videos, in my personal opinion, sporadic, uh, sporadic videos do tend to be very good. I gotta be completely honest with y'all. But as I said, I paid $500 for this car. And then, immediately, on the drive back. Luckily, I was only five minutes from the guy's house. The brakes locked up. One of the front brakes locked up on this side, actually, on the driver's side. That front driver's side brake locked up, and uh, it cost me $400 to get fixed. Luckily, I just had it parked at the guy's place, which was not too bad, bad a deal uh, kind of thing. It was He was very nice enough to take it to a mechanic for me because I could not stay in the area because I bought this car three hours away from me. And um, it was very nice to be able to purchase, you know what I'm saying? Very nice of him to take it to a mechanic shop for me. Of course, I spent my own money, and it was about $400 to replace. And then I was driving it back from the mechanic shop all the way home, three hours without AC, because this has AC now. It's like one, probably one of the only Ford Aerostars that does actually have AC, but uh, it has AC now. And then guess what happened? The back two wheels both blew at the exact same time. So I had to ditch it on the side of the road for a night kind of thing, go to a parts yard, pick up some more rims for this thing, get them, uh, get the get the tires on kind of thing, and then bring it back over kind of thing. It was very, very much a pain because guess where it broke down it broke down an hour and a half from my house so overall i've put probably almost an almost an entire day's worth of work into just getting this i gotta be completely honest with y'all but now that it's here i have not had many issues at all right now i have um oh yeah and i also had to get one of the brake lines fixed and then i also had to get the tires uh new tires because the tires were dry rotting and uh then i also had to do uh, I, I also just did oil change transmission flush and uh uh, I want to say I did a, a brake line flush as well, which was very important kind of thing. I wanted to do a brake line flush as well. So overall, it has cost me about two grand to own this car, which is just absolutely, absolutely too much. But hey, $2,000 for a car in this economy is not bad at all. I got to be completely honest with y'all. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on the car. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all's day is going well so far. I know this is a little bit of a different video, you know what I'm saying? But I think without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start showing you guys a little bit more of the car in actuality. As we can tell, it is basically just white on black. The uh, mirrors and everything are very faded, but I'm assuming 
when they were first made, it was black. And the guy, from my knowledge, who owned this previously, uh, he was a cigar smoker, so he would smoke cigars in the car. I don't smell any cigar smoke personally, but it was sitting for two years before I bought it. So it does have nice little uh, wind shades or smoker window, smoker shades as I like to call them, you know what I'm saying? It's got a quarter panel window, but sadly no smoker window right here. And as we can tell, it is just overall. A very ugly car i gotta be completely honest with y'all it is just a very ugly car after all but i think without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and move to the other side and show you something very interesting because this is a minivan and if you guys will notice if you guys will notice there's no door on this side there is no door on this side 90s things you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna go ahead and move the tripod over to the other side and show you guys the other side of the car you know what i'm saying So this is the other side of the car. This is the other side of the car. As we can see, the front is ugly. The front's ugly. Um, I, I honestly, I, I have a soft spot for this car. I really do. I really do have a soft spot for this car, honestly, though. I, for the life of me, cannot stop loving how this car looks. I know. I know it's ugly. I know it looks hideous kind of thing, but I love how it looks because of that kind of thing. This, I'm naming it the trap van kind of thing. It's not getting any sort of nice names or anything like that. This is the trap van, and uh, it might be ugly, but I love it. And as I said, I've had a love-hate relationship with this, but the looks are something I love. The hate relationship has been the reliability, you know what I'm saying? So the front, as we can see, the guy I bought it the uh, I bought it from, he had it at a beach. He had a little bit of a beach house, you know what I'm saying? So he does have some beach stuff, the front license plate there. I'm probably going to replace it once I can find a dare plate kind of thing, a, uh, a dare plate I think would be pretty funny on this car, so... I'm gonna put a dare plate on there, you know what I'm saying? Make it look a little bit more, uh, look, make it look a little bit more like a uh, state-owned vehicle, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is very dirty. I have not washed it yet. I gotta be completely honest with y'all. But uh, it's really not in bad shape for the age. It's like what, so it's 1996, so it's like what, 25 years old or approaching 25 years old? So not bad at all. Not bad at all, you know what I'm saying? Not bad at all for this price, you know what I'm saying? It does have a fixed antenna. It might have used to work. This antenna might have used to work, but it does not work anymore. And this antenna does not go down. It does not go up. The radio, sadly, does not work in this car, although that is something I will be replacing very, very soon, hopefully, you know what I'm saying? As we can see, though, on this side of the car, there is actually a door, which I will go ahead and open for you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of the back of the car and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit of the front of the car. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's just get the tripod a little bit closer. You know what I'm saying? Let's just get the tripod a little bit closer. Put it down uh, and uh, let's just put it like right there. You know what I'm saying? Just put the tripod right there. Put it on a little bit more of a flash surface. And as we can see right here, it has a handicap lift, which I will be taking out. I will be taking out this handicap lift. I'm not handicapped, but the guy who owned this previously from me, um, his I, I got it sold from his brother. But uh, the guy who owned it sadly passed away and he was paralyzed. So he was paralyzed. So this is all, this car is all set up for anybody who's paralyzed to drive it, which is very cool in my personal opinion. And I will be showing you guys some of the other really cool stuff about this car that is set up so somebody who's paralyzed can drive it. And I'm gonna go and take another hit of my cigarette because I completely forgot I even had a cigarette in my hand. And this is just out. This is just out. I cannot believe this. You know what I'm saying? But I think without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the lift. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the lift. So uh, I'm going to grab the remote from right here, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the lift. So the lift itself is pretty shoddy. i got to be completely honest with y'all. This is very much a uh, not very nice lift. It was very expensive to put in. I saw the receipts uh, that came with this car for this lift, and it was like uh, something like seven grand to put in and seven grand for the lift overall. Very expensive. But I think without further ado, let's go ahead and... Uh, Put it down, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just gonna go ahead and move the tripod again so you guys can actually see it properly. All right, there we go. So I've moved it again, and uh, as we can see now, the lift is down, but it goes down even further. So let's go ahead and do that now. And then since this car is so shoddy, you kinda have to hold this back to get it all the way out. And 
And now that it's out, I think I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit of the inside of the car, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit of the inside of the car. So I'm just gonna move this a little bit closer and uh, go ahead and show you guys, as said, the inside of the car, you know what I'm saying? Let's just put this on the uh, right here. And as we can see, the uh, lift right here is right here. Uh, it's the lift, you know what I'm saying? The inside of the car is very spacious. I really do like the inside of the car, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. It is very nice. I have my spare tire right here because the spare tire that came with the car was a donut and I was like, I don't want a donut. So one of the spare rims I bought, I just left the wheel that was on it kind of thing. I left the wheel that was on it. And uh, let me tell you what, I'm just glad I have a full-sized uh, spare, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and take the tripod inside and show you guys what the back of the car looks like. I don't know if the tripod is actually going to fit in the car, but I guess we will find out. Oh, the tripod does not fit in the car. Let's go ahead and put this right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sit in the back seat, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put this down a little bit more so you guys can actually see me properly in the back of this car. And, uh, oh, 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 ash beforehand. And, uh, man, my cigarette pack fell out. But the back seat, there is no middle row. I do have the middle row for this car, but since the lift is in here, I can't fit the middle row in here or anything like that. So I might put that in, but my plan for this car right now is to make it into a camper. I really wanna make it into a camper. I love traveling. And right now, overlanding is so popular and everything like that. This is a two-wheel drive van with the four-liter V6. So it is not, it is pretty much top of the line. I gotta be completely honest with y'all. But it is certainly not a four-wheel drive version. The four-wheel drive would be the ultimate top of the line. This is not the top of the line though. Although I am glad I didn't buy the four-wheel drive version because there are problems with the four-wheel drive system that make it not very reliable. Oh man, go ahead and just ash that outside again. You know what I'm saying? But the back seat is pretty comfortable. I gotta be completely honest with you. The back seat is pretty comfortable. There's nothing really special about it. I will be completely honest with y'all. Nothing special about it. The one thing that is special about this back seat, though, is that this was the 90s. Rear air con was not very popular in the 90s. But this car has it. This is a this is a cheap minivan too from the 90s. So this is this is very surprising that it has rear air conditioning, which is very, very nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and move to the outside of the car so I can go ahead and show you guys something very cool about the outside. And then I'm gonna move to the front seats, you know what I'm saying? Because I think it's very, very cool. I think it's very, very cool to see what the front seats are all about. But I wanna show you guys something very, very interesting beforehand, you know what I'm saying, beforehand. So let's go ahead. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick you guys up, get outside, not put the lift in right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna put the lift in right now because, well, I don't need to right now, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No complaints on my behalf. Let's go ahead, make the tripod a little bit longer. And I just want to go ahead and show you guys this real quick because this is pretty cool. So basically, uh, God, oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. The ash fell out again. So I'm just going to put this on top of my car for me to throw away later. You know what I'm saying? Open the door up and uh, watch this, y'all. Watch this. Oh, can't really see through the door, but... There we go, all right. And very, very nice clunking sound. I really do like that as well. But uh, you can open the side windows like that. Look how cool that is. The sad part is, is that they don't really work very well on the highway. They don't really work very well at all and they do tend to get stuck a lot. But it's still pretty cool to see sliding windows when you never see that anymore. And it's so cool to me, I absolutely love it. This has a roof rack, as we can tell. The roof rack, I'm personally planning on making a little bit of a tarp, so I can uh, put a tarp on there and have a little bit of an overhang on the other side, you know what I'm saying? Once the lift is out, I think that'll be pretty cool. But I think without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and move to the inside of the car, so I'm gonna move the tripod a little bit again, you know what I'm saying? I'm move the tripod a little bit again. And uh, let's see if, oh, the tripod's in like the complete wrong pay place, all right. All right, so let's go ahead and just lift this up just a little bit, and there we go, there we go, okay. So, the inside of the car is pretty nice. I have a steering wheel, as you guys can tell, kind of thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get my phone off of this, just so I can uh, show you guys, kind of thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and get that off, do a little bit of a vlog mode, kind of thing. The inside of the car is pretty nice, I'll be completely honest with y'all. It's not bad at all. As we can see here, we have the gauge cluster, and uh, down there we have the cup holders, which cannot hold the cup. The cup holders are so small and so thin, it cannot hold the cup at all. They're essentially useless, which is absolutely just unacceptable. And I'm gonna have to put in my own cup holders, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. But the air conditioning works, which is amazing. And it blows very cold, very cold, cold. And I absolutely, absolutely love it. Uh, one of the coolest things probably about my this interior is that it has the guy who owned it previously, Put in a CB radio, you know what I'm saying? The CB radio does not work right now, but I am currently planning on making it work. I don't know how to get the CB radio to work, 
but I am gonna try to get it to work. So once I have that, that will be very, very cool. And it does have an antenna as well, but the antenna is not on top of the car personally. I think the wiring might've gotten messed up or something. That's my personal guess as to why it doesn't work because the CB radio looks like it's been in here since 1996. Let me put it that way. It looks like it's been in here since 1996. This is a, uh, let's go ahead and just show y'all real quick. This is the shifter right here. So it is not a uh, floor shifter. It is a column shifter. This is a four speed automatic, I wanna say. And the top speed of this car is, oh man, this is sad. Uh, 80 miles an hour. It's 80 miles an hour. And all of the highways I live by, all of the highways I live by are 75 mile an hour highways and everybody goes, everybody goes 85, 90. So this car does not keep up with traffic. Let me put it that way. This car does not keep up with traffic at all, but no complaints for me. Sadly, the radio doesn't work. Otherwise, I would show you guys how well the radio works. You know what I'm saying? The window switches are another one of my complaints about this car, but it's something I've actually gotten used to. It's something I've gotten quite used to. The window switches are right here. This is uh, lock, lock, unlock. And these are the window switches right here, which is very nice. I will be completely frank, but they're very hard to reach when you are actually driving. Not very ergonomic at all. I don't know what Ford was thinking, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just uh, show you guys some of the stuff that is really, really cool about this being a handicapped car so my favorite thing about it and i'm trying to i'm gonna have to oh ah oh, man i hit my tailbone i hit my tailbone that hurt really bad but my favorite thing about this and let's just go ahead and move right there this is something so you can drive it completely with your hands completely hand you just without your feet at all because as said the guy who owned this previously he was handicapped he was paralyzed so he had it set up so he could just completely 100 percent drive it with his hands um, which is very cool. So if you press it down, that's the brakes. And if you press it like that, that's the uh, gas, which is very, very cool. And I have tried driving it by hand. And let me tell you what, it is a little bit more difficult than you would think, but really no big complaints on me. I am going to be removing that. That's not going to stay in the car. But the thing that is going to stay in the car is the actual other seat kind of thing. And let me just show you all real quick. If you guys can see down there, there are some uh, wires and stuff like that. And right here, basically, that is where this seat moves all the way back, all the way to the back. And I can't move it right now. I'm just going to move it a little bit for y'all, uh, just to show y'all that it actually does work because it does, which is just so cool in my personal opinion. I absolutely love that it actually works. So let's just go ahead and uh, back. <laughs> and then it also spins around and everything, which is so cool. Sadly, I have the spare tire back there right now, so it won't spin back all the way, but it is very cool nonetheless. And I absolutely love it. It also go up and down which doesn't seem to be working right now, but hey, it is what it is. I might be removing that as well, but I think that would just be a really cool holdover from the previous owner. And I wanna pay homage to him kind of thing to uh, leave a little bit leave, leave a little bit of um, what he put into this car left in it. I, I just wanna leave it in because it's so cool. You know what I'm saying? I just want, that's basically the reason. I'm gonna go and close this door real quick. Very nice clunking sound. I love that. I have, let's just do that again real quick. ASMR. There we go. So satisfying. So satisfying. And let's go ahead and take a look at the trunk. You know what I'm saying? Let's just go ahead and take a look at the trunk. Let's go ahead and open it up. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go grab my tripod so I can show y'all what the trunk is really like. You know what I'm saying? So I can show y'all what the trunk is really like. I am not going to be showing y'all my uh, my license plate today. I do apologize. I got to make sure I keep that hidden. I keep that secret. I got to make sure. Let's just go ahead and put this back on the tripod. You know what I'm saying? Put this back on the tripod so I can put it down so I can talk to y'all about the car without having any interruptions. You know what I'm saying? So this is the back of the Ford Aerostar. You know what I'm saying? This is the back of the Ford Aerostar. And it's basically the perfect sitting platform, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. This is one of the things I absolutely love about this car, is that this is the perfect sitting platform. I am 100% planning on recording some videos back here when I am uh, a little bit more uh, used to smoking in the car and everything like that. But this is just such a cool little platform to just be able to sit on. It's very good for tailgating and everything like that. Tailgating isn't my thing personally, but if it is your guys' thing kind of thing, I can definitely see how this car would just be the absolute perfect car for tailgating kind of thing. And I actually think it's just absolutely, absolutely fantastic. I have a bunch of storage under here. This is where, uh, over here, this is where the jack is. And I just have some storage right here. I do have a floor jack with me right now because we had to jack up this car. My dad and I had to jack up this car like three times so far. And uh, it's just easier having a floor jack than a scissor jack. Because let me tell you what, it is not fun at all. I do want to say real quick though that the car right now is not working that great. I do think I need to replace the fuel pump. I've already replaced the fuel filter myself and I'm going to be replacing the fuel pump in the coming weeks as soon as this uh, gas runs out in this car. I'm going to be replacing the fuel pump because I do believe that the fuel pump is currently dying. 
but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. There's nothing I can do about that. And uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and move to the other side and go ahead and put up the uh, the lift to uh, go ahead and show y'all. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, close this real quick, you know what I'm saying? Oh, not nearly as satisfying, but still satisfying, you know what I'm saying? And uh, let's go ahead and just put up the lift real quick. Let's go ahead and just put up the lift real quick. Show y'all how all that works, you know what I'm saying? Show y'all how all that works and uh, go ahead and put it up for you guys, you know what I'm saying? So basically the way this works, you hold the door back and you start it li and it starts lifting up kind of thing. And the scary thing about this jack is that, uh, or about this lift, is that if you put it on the ground too much, it will actually lift the car up, which is very amusing to me. And uh, then we fold it in like that. And I hope I don't run the battery dry, honestly. I hope I don't run the battery dry, honestly, because let me tell you what, this uses a lot of energy. So let's just go ahead. It's the, the guy, previous guy had a bungee cord for this, which was very, very uh, nice of him to do. And let's go ahead and just close the door. I have caused a little bit of damage because one of the door pieces fell off. Let me just show you all the damage real quick. You know what I'm saying? Pick up the whole tripod, you know what I'm saying? Let me just show you all a little bit of the damage. But uh, the damage right here is not good at all because let me tell you what, the, uh, the, the, the door panel just completely came off and basically just started uh, ruining and started messing up the rest of the trim, but it is what it is. This is the trap van after all. I'm gonna be smoking in it. I don't care about this van. I just want it to run and I don't care about anything else. And I don't care about how it looks. This is just a mode of transportation to me. And yes, the door does have to be slammed because otherwise it doesn't work. But I think without further ado, the only part of the car I haven't shown y'all is the passenger side and the engine bay. So I think without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the passenger side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the engine bay. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the side door. And uh, th 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 this door, this is much more simple. This is much more simple than the uh, other one. You know what I'm saying? This is much more simple. There's really nothing on this side. Just got the dash right here, uh, a little bit of a door pocket right here. and. Um, it's pretty simple. It's just a, it's just a passenger side. You cannot adjust this seat, but there is an underside uh, little storage pocket, which is very, very nice, but you cannot adjust the seat sadly. You know what I'm saying? And you cannot adjust the seat sadly, but it is what it is. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I cannot believe I completely forgot my cigarettes in the back of the car, but luckily there's no center console. So I can go back there to get them. But I think without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the engine base. So let's just go ahead and get that going. You know what I'm saying? Let's just go ahead and get that going. And, um, Maybe, 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 uh, I was gonna smoke another cigarette, but I don't know if I will, honestly. So let's just go ahead and get this popped. There we go, there we go. So let's, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the camera right here. This is a little bit, I do apologize, this is getting to be a very long video, but there is a lot about this car to show you guys, you know what I'm saying? There is a lot about this car to show you guys. So I'm gonna just gonna move this back just a little bit more. There we go, just like that. And, um, let's go ahead and get this lifted up. So it's right here. And, uh, And here's the engine. This is the engine, four liter V6 from a Ranger and Explorer. This is built on the Ranger platform, 155 horsepower. That's the engine. There's nothing interesting about it. It's not turbo, it's not anything. It's just a four liter V6 from a Ranger or an Explorer. 90s Ford, you know what I'm saying? 90s Ford, bad design and there's a stick right here. I gotta get this off, you know what I'm saying? Gotta get that off. But uh, not really anything too much going on with this car, you know what I'm saying? Not really too much going on with this car. But let's go ahead and just put that back right there. And overall, I am just loving this car. I'm just loving this car, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. I am like, it's not the nicest car in the world, but let me tell you what, it's what I can afford and it's what I'm happy to have. And I'm just thankful I'm able to afford a car, you know what I'm saying? I'm just happy I'm able to afford a car, even if it's just a $500 beater. I'm very happy and I'm very much looking forward to my journey with this car. I'm as fully assuming after I record this video that it will break again. So if it does break again, I may post a little bit of an update on my Instagram or anything like that. So if you guys do want to check out my Instagram or anything like that, make sure to do so because uh, you know what? I might be posting updates if this car does break again, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much the car tour. I think I've pretty much showed you guys everything. There's really nothing else to talk about. You know what I'm saying? There's really nothing else to talk about. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I'm on Instagram. I'm in the description below. Highly recommend you guys to go those out. But yeah, I tried to said that really, really fast. But yeah, until the next one, y'all. Stay safe and peace. And have a great one. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Have a great one out there. Have a, ha have a great one out there. And stay safe, y'all. I hope y'all's day is treating you well. I know mine is. So have a great one, y'all. Stay safe out there.